Hello, and welcome to Spire Technologies. My name is Guillermo, and today I'd like to give you some basic things anyone can do to diagnose an IP telephone which is not working. Properly identifying the issue you are experiencing will provide you with the correct solution to getting that telephone working again. So, let's get started. The first thing you have to ask is, has anything changed or happened recently? Did you just have the office painted? Was the furniture moved around? Is just one telephone not working or are multiple telephones not working? Were new security cameras just installed? Did you experience a power outage? These questions alone may provide some good direction on solving the problem. Now, here I have a telephone that is not working and the first thing we can see right off the bat is that it doesn't have power. There are no lights and the LCD is completely blank. So how is the telephone being powered? Well, there are only two possibilities. Either it will be powered by a power adapter or it will be powered over the network through PoE or power over ethernet. If the telephone is being powered by a power adapter, then it will be very straightforward. It may have simply become unplugged or the outlet that it is plugged into is not providing power. The other more common option is that the telephone is being powered over the network through PoE. And if we look at the back of the phone, you will only see a network cable and that's it. No power adapter. The single easiest thing to do in this case is to simply unplug the telephone and take, take it to another location that is known working. Now just as a side note, you may see a second network cable plugged into the PC port. Uh, on the telephone. This will most likely be a computer workstation that is daisy chained through your telephone to the wall. So now what you want to do is unplug the network cable from a second telephone that is working. And plug in the non-working telephone with that cable and see if it powers up. This is actually testing a couple different things. This is testing to make sure the network cable is good and the port on the network switch is also good. If the telephone still does not power up at the new location, then the telephone itself may be blown. Now, here's a good tip for you. If the telephone isn't working with PoE, you can also try a power adapter and vice versa. The, tel the way telephones are built, even if it refuses to power up with one method, you can oftentimes get it to work perfectly with the other. So we have a telephone here that is about to come up and run. Uh, now we are gonna need to check that it has not lost its settings or has been factory defaulted. We would know the telephone has lost its settings because there will be no name or extension number on the LCD. If this is the case, then we will need to get the telephone reprogrammed. Fortunately, this telephone is still programmed because I see a name or extension number on the screen. The next thing I want to do is make sure this telephone can communicate with the spider. Now, if you see an X or any such symbol on the screen saying the telephone is not registered, then again, you will need to have someone check its programming. The person programming the telephone will want to know a few things. They'll need to know the name and extension number of the telephone and if you can, though not always necessary, provide the MAC address and IP address as well. You can find the MAC address printed on a sticker on the back of the telephone, and you can find the IP address through the telephone's LCD by go going to the menu and looking at the status page. So I don't see any indicators, everything looks good, and I'm ready to make a test call. What you want to do is simply hit the voicemail button mailbox. If you hear the spider logging you into voicemail, then you know this telephone can communicate with the spider. If it cannot, then you will again need to have its programming checked. As a side note, please know that simply hearing dial tone is not an indicator that the telephone is working. This is because dial tone is being generated by the telephone itself and not the spider PBX. So now let's make a test call to the outside world this time using the telephone's handset instead of the speakerphone. And, hmm, I don't hear anything. It's completely dead. You'd be surprised 
had how many calls come in because there was an issue with the handset cord. This little cord can break over time, it can come loose or fall out, or the connector can even break. If you can dial out using the telephone speakerphone but not the handset, then you most likely have a problem with either the handset cord or even the handset itself. Well, luckily we have our good working telephone over here and we can just borrow its handset and cord to be sure. And I'm going to plug in the new handset cord. So let's go ahead and dial out 800 8968187 And now our test call is good. So, in summary, we've checked the power, the network switch, the specific port on the switch, the cable in the wall all the way to the telephone. We've checked the telephone itself, the handset, and the handset cord. Um, the base and the basic programming of the telephone. Everything we've done here today, anybody can do. It's all very easy and doesn't require anything special. Now, I realize troubleshooting isn't for everyone, and maybe there are a few variables particular to your site, but that's why we're here. We do this all day, every day, and we'd love to help you out. So please, give us a contact. Thank you. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Thank you from all of us at Spider Technologies.